this is sick. Ever since the first Oculus over a decade ago, I've bided my time with great anticipation to get into VR, waiting for the right headset to come along for a great first time experience, and the time has finally come. Somehow, despite all that buildup, it does not disappoint. It is really cool. Oh, there he is. See ya. Bop. <laughs> Big money ray gun, here we go. Mmm, delicious. So this whole thing's basically just gonna be me saying that roughly 57 times as we check out all kinds of games. Made sense to start with what people seem to call the most COD-like game. This is Contractors. Oh. Ah, it's worth mentioning that the base game weapons aren't actually a COD copy. They do have their own. That's just the MW2R loadout by Astro Mods. As you can imagine, it's all here. Plenty of CODs, CS, even Titanfall, Warhammer 40k. Yeah, you name it. It's just so satisfying. Oh, hello. Walked in front of my test. Yeah, give me a little tough to control when you don't have a real shoulder, you know. <laughs> yeah, it might be easier to just kind of hip fire. You can feel where it's pointing pretty well. It's nice to not have to close an eye, too. Gets kind of tiring. I got you, Chappie. We got him. Get out of the way, Chappie. Oh, no. Yeah, switching to your pistol is definitely faster than reloading. Especially when you have to think about how to reload. Ooh, that's a one shot. Damn. We'll get our camos in no time. You gotta love how, you know, there's no tac knife attachment. Because if I want to, I can just grab the knife. Oh yeah, we're dominating these low-level bots. And this is a, a very real running animation, I swear. I'm definitely not just doing this. Oh! Get stabbed. Come here, come here. Aha! Aha! All right, give me something new. Oh, we love the tar. The javelin, I gotta see this. Oh, hell yeah, it's beautiful. And that meaty sound. Let's hear that. Ah! Oh, that's bouncy. Yeah, I'm gonna aim to the side. Yeah, that's fun. It's surprising how easy it is to feel where it's pointing. You ever heard of the TAR-21 tack knife? It's a, it's a good combo. <laughs> hey, see, it's pretty good. My javelin just on my back. Oh my god, it is. I just reached back there and that worked. That's amazing. Oh crap. Um, oh, okay. Oh, wow. I see. Uh, yeah, fire one off right there. There it goes. <laughs> Oh my god, and Charlie was standing there. Thank you for playing along. Amazing. Well, that, was, that wasn't as big of a boom as I was maybe hoping for, but that is hilarious. Well, there's at least one more thing I need to try on here. I mean, obviously, right? Oh man, <laughs> there it is. Oh. Oh my god. Just incredible. Pop. <laughs> no scoping's easier than scoping, man. Oh, oh, oh my god. I don't know how that looks on the video. It's really hard to quick scope and actually like look through it compared to just pointing. Oh, oh that was pretty close. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. Oh my god, I hit him with that. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the 360 gun. No scope. Not 360ing yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the quintuple barrel roll. We're inventing new trick shots. This is simply amazing. It is really Ow. cool. Get me up there. Here we go. Uh, he's gone. Huh. Well, that kind of counts. <laughs> yeah, it turns out they're uh, pretty hard to control, and reloading them is going to be a pain. Although, the th thing about a Kimbo is you don't have to use both of them. Kind of OP. <laughs> All right, it's about time I get off this map. I've been here for so long. Oh, good, they evacuated. Let's see, is it a good map? It's a good map. <laughs> Man, I I'm, I'm here. I'm really here. This is crazy. See ya. <laughs> Imagine paying a hundred bucks for the privilege of modeling your $30 skins on some remasters of these maps. When you can live in them instead, in a free mod. Incredible. Ah, uh, one of many goats. Hey. Just no recoil, of course. Huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah, these have some accuracy issues. What's happening? And this is gonna take a little while. Just uh, hold up for a sec. Yeah, we'll put that one away. Does just one work? Nope. Well, that is not better. That's kind of weird. Haven't even touched the SMGs. All right, just, just one more I gotta try. Oh, baby. <laughs> Proper 50 cal use. Don't be creeping up on me. Right, here we go. Ooh, I love how the reload sound includes the little whoop from throwing it away. Yeah, I'm just addicted to the sound. Give me some more whoop. 
<laughs> Gotta get the perfect cannon reload. Ooh. I love how I'm more proud of a hard scope than anything else. Those are much more controllable. Still gonna take a year to reload them though. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the reloading isn't as simple as whoop. And you're done. <laughs> Switching to my Baird is always faster than reloading those things. <laughs> okay, crazy thought. I've been messing around way too long. Maybe I should try actually joining a public lobby with real players and surely get destroyed because anybody playing this is probably really good. FFA gun game on Nuketown with the Modern Warfare 2 loadout. Let's go. Well, that doesn't look like MW2. I guess gun game is always the default. And I'm dead. <laughs> hey, at least we killed each other. All right. Hey, nice. Oh my God, I'm doing it. MP5. Uh, I don't know. Okay, my new MP, I did get one. <laughs> oh my God. Lucky headshot. I am doing infinitely better than I expected. Okay, I had to say something. Oh, same place. All right, so let's actually line up the sights this time. There we go. Nice. Vector. I'm dead. Nice. Not a shotgun. Come on, this guy. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he's reloading or something. Nice. On the dig. Ah, defeat. Hey, you know what? Neutral? I'll take neutral. Oh my god. Estate with the NW loadout. All right. We got this spawn in banger. Take them down. Take them down. Well, I got the supply drop guns in here. Well, I mean, in what world do you not take M16 Red Dot? <laughs> yeah. This brings him back a few years. I was not prepared to feel something over that. It wasn't that long ago. Well, it kind of was. Yeah, I got some bots in here. See ya, John. Well, I didn't really come here to fight more bots. I came here to be destroyed by players. Where's my UAV, man? Oh, like that. There we go. That's more like it. How about M40? ECOG obviously need the bonus damage on there. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Oh, we already lost it. BO4 firing range, huh? All right, try the foul. We're dead already. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, I can at least stand on C. Oh, I damaged the guy maybe, and then I blew up. <laughs> I'm just flying around the corner. Okay, this is much more what I was expecting, uh, stepping into multiplayer. <laughs> Instant every time. Well, I can keep stepping on the flags. That's something I can do, but not for long. I got one, guys. I got one. And it blew up. <laughs> I mean, I could try to use a utility more. Oh, I just saw him. I was going to back up and try to nade. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a mean angle. It doesn't matter, though. I just spawned. That's so dark. If someone popped up in there, I'd have no chance. I got one. <laughs> oh, man. It must be a rush to just get really good at this and be flying around. It's not my gun, right? Like, I don't know what's good. Wah! Well, yeah, clearly we lose. Well, that's uh, much more of the authentic multiplayer I was looking for. I noticed something very entertaining. So if I release the mag, you know, it falls out pretty normally. Nothing wrong there. If it's upside down, boing, <laughs> it's got some spring to it. Woo. Whoa, there he goes. What is going on? Pew. Pew. All right, last one of these for now. Hijacked. Yeah, you know, these are mostly bots because I'm not dead. <laughs> Feels good though. Yeah, where are the players? Ooh, this thing's good. Oh, there we go. Ah, there's a player. You can tell. Oh. Oh my god, I reached for my pistol without even looking down at it for the first time. Rapid improvement. A few more hundred hours of this and I might be able to compete with those other people. Surely one of these times I'll get the drop on a real player. Nope. But hey, we won. All right. Now, you know what's cooler than the multiplayer? The real reason I got this game. Ho oh, ho ho, chills. Yeah, this is the best part. Maybe someone should go turn on the power now. Kino is usually what I think when I think favorite zombies map. Not like it's the craziest map, but early Black Ops 1 is just when I was the biggest in the zombies. Hello? Anyone there? And this is just so cool. Really <laughs> I cool. haven't played very deep yet at all. I only made sure it worked. Bop. Uh, shouldn't be wasteful. Ha! Too easy. I'm getting 100 points though? Is the headshot overriding the knife? Yeah, this is 130, right? So I have to go for body knives? Huh, was it like that in the game? Headshot knives weren't exactly common, so I don't know. All right, gotta get these points. Do we have any Olympia gang members? Now imagine buying a gun in the first room. This post made by MP40 gang. Gotta get quick revive though. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got it. I guess the liquid didn't move in the original either, huh? Can I get some coins under here? 
Give me some change. No, I don't think so. Start using this a bit more. I gotta fire every shot to reload it though, because you don't get the bullets back if you ditch a mag early. Oh, is the box there? That sucks. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> you can set really fast, which is kind of OP. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I could die pretty fast, honestly. Gotta be careful. This is just like a flawless recreation. It blows my mind. I mean, not like it's modeled from scratch. I don't know what they have to do to make it compatible. All the lighting and stuff. This is gonna get tough pretty quick here. Like the quadruple stab is nice and all, but when they start moving. <laughs> yeah, who needs a bowie knife? Yeah, if it, I wanna roll the box because that's like the most fun part of this. I have like a childhood excitement to roll this again because whatever I get, I get to physically use for the first time. All right, what's it gonna be? Big money ray gun right away. The HS10, okay. Not the best for the point situation. Bop, bop. Oh, oh God. And I, the manual reloading, I can't even see. Okay, it's not too bad. I don't think I'd want to be doing this under pressure. I'm also having some trouble putting the gun away. Like I can only swap now. So I can only grab the knife with my left hand. I don't know. Okay, you can go pretty fast with the reload. It's forgiving. Yeah, I unlock speed cola by just being better. Nope, lost a show. Bop. So is there no speed cola? What would it even do? Oh, I'm rolling this for fun, but we got to get out of here pretty soon. Uh oh, we're going to ditch this. The dragon off. <laughs> Another kind of awkward weapon to have. Bye. Ah, uh, reload quickly. Yeah. It's Black Ops 1, so I have to reload before picking that up, right? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Also, where is my Dragonoff? <laughs> I don't see it on the floor anywhere. It's gone. One more time for the road. Uh-oh. Hurry up. Hurry up. Well, I'll take it. Yeah, this is Gary. Let's go. Imagine buying the PM9. This post made by everyone. Oh, they got meal kick here. That wasn't always there, right? It was added in DLC, surely. Right, I'm finally out of that. Cool. Now we're feeling better. Oh, and they got stamina up over there, which I'm pretty sure was speed cola. So I guess that question's answered. Give me that. I'm not going crazy, right? <laughs> I am not crazy. I'm not crazy. I know they swapped those perk machines. I knew it was speed cola. Am I okay with losing two? Sure. It's just so tempting to always reload when it's calm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. I'll just come over to the left here. There we go. Don't really want to be in this room any longer. Something I have noticed. I don't think there's very good penetration. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, is this quick revive? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll just uh, zoom back to where I was. It's a lot to get used to. They're not as easy as it looks, maybe. All right, good. Not getting distracted by the box this time. Just gonna follow the plan. I'm only getting 50 points for a knife. 9.30. 10. Well, I, I, I swear, I, did I imagine 130? I am going crazy. Maybe I do want to go for the headshot. Huh. Can I get this? I found the rock. You can. And just to confirm, I'm at 14.40. Try to get a good one here. I only ever seem to get 10 at a time. Hmm. Not great for the money, but I guess that's one less thing to worry about. Do I do it? Not good for points, but who cares? <laughs> Enjoy. <Bad health is laughs> All right, we're flying. We're in MP5K. Onto the stage. Yes. Dang. Box would have been nice. Here we go. Boom. The screen. <laughs> that's bright. It's in the alley. It's even worse than last time, man. Let's see if I can stab my way to a bowie knife. I don't know. I don't think this guy was pathing to me. He just stayed here the whole time. Interesting. Oh, we got those guys, of course. Nova crawler things. Gonna be kind of tough to stab. I, I might have to buy the M16. And you can see it's not penetrating much at all. Mm. It gives me four mags. Am I even making my money back? Come here, little guy. But yeah, they don't explode in gas, thankfully. Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying the bow knife anymore because I'm gonna get myself killed there when they're moving fast. Yes, please. Reach for Juggernog tonight. I have Jug now. I shouldn't be so scared. I'll still be a little scared. Okay. The fury of the Red Army. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I gotta link this up. This is harder when I'm not confident in being able to jump. Okay, that was a risk. Just like old times, man. I know I've talked about my interest in VR several times over the years. Like in every Q&A, whenever there's, uh, what games are you looking forward to? I always go with like a lame, honestly nothing, I don't care about new games. But VR, that's what I'm looking forward to. Because it's a completely new experience. 
and it really has lived up to that for me. Now give me that, please. Yes, walk into me. Okay, don't go too crazy. Oh, the nuke, no! I didn't think I was that slow. I could make it to the box. I could also pack a bunch of the M16 and see if it has a tube on it. That'd be cool. Yeah, screw it. We're on our last mega this. I kind of want to try that. Because I might die again, and I want to make sure I at least pack a bunch of something. Hey, guys. Welcome back to part 13 of my zombies commentary. Man, this experience is part of why I waited so long. I didn't want to try the first ever headset and be like, eh, okay, kind of cool, but not the most immersive and kind of janky and there aren't that many games. And then I have to buy a new headset every few years. But jumping in now is, is the mind-blown moment I wanted. This is like actual future technology to me. When people say, you know, we were promised flying cars and all we got was depression. This is like the flying cars that actually happen. What the hell am I yapping about? <laughs> all right, this better work. Okay. Whoa. How do I do this? Y yes. Go inside. Put it in. No, it's Jono. Press, press that. Okay. There's lots of bands out there you need to send to hell. Give me. Hell yeah. I forgot the name. I'm sorry. There's no tube. There was a tube, right? Understandable, I suppose. All right. Uh, give me that. Uh, ah. Yes. Ooh. That is pretty cool. All right. It's full auto. I do want this too. I don't know if my sprint is actually limited, but if it helps my movement in any way. Let's go. Uh, I didn't want to buy a second M16. What the hell? <laughs> Do I need to hold it and like buy ammo with the other hand or can I not? Finally making our way to the box. Not opening the stage door. Certainly not. Uh, it's worth it. Yeah, I can roll it a couple times. Okay, how do I do this when I have two? Okay, just get rid of this. Goodbye. I still clearly don't know how to manage multiple weapons. Maybe I can place it on my left hand. All right, come here. Best part of the game. Hello? Monkey bum. Okay. That's good to have. Oh, crap. I didn't wind it up or anything. Can I pick it back up? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Sorry. Just bouncing around. The HK? Huge. Go to... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's definitely 125 round mag right there. I am feeling the cold nausea sweats from this much joystick movement. And my eyes are kind of burning, so I might have to pack a bunch of this and call it there. It's so good, though. Double points, finally. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh, I forgot I had to relink it. Good thing I didn't completely corner myself in there. Off we go. Mm. Okay. I put it in there and yes, hit the thing. What the hell? No, don't pack a bunch of that. My money. D why would you do that? Double pack a punching isn't even a thing. What is that? <laughs> a mag? It just ate it. <laughs> my F16 is gone. What the hell? I got a barf, man. I need a pack punch this thing. Right, how do I do this? Twist it up. Twist it up. Go, go, go. Nope. Okay. <laughs> well, that sucks. Did I twist it enough yet? You oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I just want to use the bomb, man. Well, I probably should buy Quick Revive again, but I'm not really planning on living much longer, so... All right, let's go. He's linked. I just need a bit of money. We're going. This better work, because I don't have Jug. I can't possibly mess this up. I only have one gun. Here we go. Yes. Now it worked. All right. Nice. 150. Beautiful. I'm twisting this thing forever. I'll figure this thing out one day. Just throw it. Yeah, he's not dancing. That red button is just calling to me. I, I can't interact with anything. <laughs> well, it's okay. I've accomplished my goals. I'm ready to go. Ready to barf. All right. Take me. That is very cool, very fun. Really cool. Although I can only play about an hour at a time. Yeah, this game is on sale for like 10 bucks. I'm sure other VR shooters offer cool mods too, but man, worth every penny. Maybe I'll have to come back and check out some of those weirder maps. For now, we're just getting started. We have so much more ground to cover. Looks bad. I don't think the lieutenant can talk. Well, yeah, my head fell off. Okay. He's a spy. Bam. Okay. I've played a lot of World War II recently, right? This seemed too appropriate to not include. Also, can I turn up these graphics? They are not great. Yeah, this is Medal of Honor above and beyond. What, surgery mission? The Office of Strategic Services. The OSS. Subversion and everything in between. Hey, I've heard this one before. I don't know if you guys are supposed to be on the range here. Whoop. So obviously not doing a playthrough right now. Just had to check this out. Because you know how I just played Allied Assault. A true classic. And the one that was worked on by 2015 Inc. Of course, those guys would go off to form Infinity Ward, then later split off to form Respawn. Meanwhile, Medal of Honor bounced around for a while and then 
kind of petered out until the IP returned for this little VR title worked on by Respawn Entertainment. It came full circle to good old Mr. Zampella. Too funny. I was thinking if I end up playing tons of classic Medal of Honors in the, in the same vein of playing every COD, it could be a funny novelty to do a full playthrough of this being technically the newest Medal of Honor that I'm sure a lot of people don't even know about because I saw some comments last time that were like referencing 2012 as the last one. It doesn't sound like the best game ever, uh, but there's a lot of room for silly antics. I don't know. I also don't know about the quality of the VR viewing experience. And this scope system is weird. I don't know. I've experimented with recording methods. Like I know about stabilization and I use that for some games, but for the shooters, I think I need the bigger FOV to show the gun in the foreground. Well, I try to pick settings based on the game, but uh, anyway, I'm open to tips if I can do better. Well, I'm not going to go too deep maybe we will play it someday just had to demo it the timing was too perfect okay silly diversion from the shooters i had to pay respects to good old vr chat it feels like the peak of its cultural relevance has passed but it turns out the player count's pretty much only gone up makes sense i guess just more people get in vr you can see the bump every christmas i feel just like a purple pikmin <laughs> at last i can live the ideal life reject humanity uh this is confusing well i don't know how the game part's supposed to work but uh cool map Ah, I'm such a loser. Yikes. Well, I'm using the PC mic so I could do soundboard stuff pretty easily. Soda! I don't think these voices are too good. Whoa. <laughs> Let me tell you about my hairy legs. The, my bit turned blonde in the sun and then the kids used to come up and give me some ice cream. Hello? Wait, 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 what? Hello, Steve from Minecraft. <laughs> well, I'm not social at all in real life and uh, surprisingly, not any different in VR. So, I don't know what I expected to do here. Oh, banger. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Right, flipper, left, flipper, right, leg, left, leg, head. Turn around, have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguin's attention! Uh, penguin song, very based. The penguin gang, let's go. We got Napoleon on here. Oh, I gotta get that. This isn't even a meme. That has no right being as fun as it is. I don't dance. That's not a thing I do. Like whenever there was a dance unit in high school PE, it straight up skipped the whole thing. It's like, give me a zero. It's not happening. But that's like fun exercise. I do like to stay vaguely active. It is important. But normally even with a show to watch, I find it so boring. I'm counting the minutes. That two hours flew by. I'm going to go back and do that again. That's hilarious. I mean, it is a bit embarrassing to be so bad at it. Like almost everyone there is a full body tracking Chad. I'm over here looking like a goober. Everyone's welcome, of course, but uh, it does make me want to hide in the corner to be polite. You know, I'm not one of the cool kids. Maybe someday. Well, big ups to this VR dancing group. Although I doubt this will uh, make it back to them. All right, moving on. <clears throat> right, masculinity. I uh, couldn't cover gun stuff without some H3 VR. The full title is too long. It seems like what people tend to call the best VR gunplay with the most attention to detail, crazy range of weapons, and that all seems true, but it's less of a game and more of a simulator sandbox. I got the Hickok range there. I kind of liked the warehouse one. Yeah, so you just mess around with the guns, which at first I thought was kind of pointless, but then I kept coming back, because it is really satisfying. Say some gangsta is dissing your fly girl. You just give him one of these. Bye bye. I think a big selling point over most VR shooters is the physics based reloads, how objects can interact, such as. Aha! I doubt that's practical at all, but it feels pretty cool. Really cool. I'll get myself an AK, and I can lock a mag in one of these bubbles to have infinite. Always forget about the safety. Boom! The hip fire strat still reigns supreme. Another example, you can be boring and take the mag out, or you can kick it out, cause that's cool. And yeah, the selection is pretty absurd. All very detailed as well. You can tell why people speak so highly of it. Look at that. And yet another example, smack. Didn't have to press any buttons, it just recognizes the little slap there. And someone like Contractors, it forced you to use a handle. Couldn't interact with that at all. Ah uh, yes, which kind of MP5 do I want? I'm a big fan of the A3 myself. I do think it's funny that I've never been taught to reload any of these things. 
It's only through years of watching reload animations that it feels natural. Why do I lock that handle back and then swap the mag and then give it the old slap forward? What if I swap the mag and then just pull it? It seemed to work, but it looked stupid. So that's why. I noticed the model was not in the Modern Warfare 2 Contractors mod. I have to assume the different ways of reloading it were a bit out of scope. Get down. After all, it would be criminal to include them without the ability to flip. <laughs> uh, clearly these are post-nerf models or that would be blowing up. Damn. Woo! Why is the gravity goofy? It flies out of your hand. Yeah, spawn the slicer attack trio. Get out of here. Easy. It's not like I'm even a, a big gun guy. Like I'm up here in Canada with my couple airsoft props. I've been to a real gun range once. I shot a Glock and a Vector. It was neat. That's it. You know, I could use my other hand. For some reason, it feels like I have to keep my right hand on there. Bumper. It's frustrating that you're getting some kind of laggy footage here because I have to go through the Oculus Link thing to record it better. I've never had any trouble with Steam Link. <laughs> Whoop. Boom. All right, here we go. Bam. <laughs> Plop. Now, there are some slightly more arcadey modes you can pick from. Most of these were total duds to me, or I just didn't understand them. I do kind of wish there was more of something, even just like this target practice mode. Like, there just aren't that many scenarios to pick from. And the main issue is how nearly all the guns are locked in this mode. And you have to earn an outrageous number of the sauce packets to just buy a few more guns. You have a couple just basic starter weapons. Like this is fun. Gotta get the reload in between waves. It's like uh, we play on crack. Get the double reload, get one in the chamber. But come on, I'm not grinding out the same target practice 300 times just to buy a couple guns. If you just beef up this target practice, you can have yeah, like a few dozen rounds of targets for each class of gun. Yeah, setting high scores with every gun individually could be really fun. Have the focus be on improving your skills, you know, compete and get better. Not just one score and locked guns. Ooh, I earned sauce. Let's go. It's hard to even find what I can use. Everything's locked. Of course, I can use a lever action from 150 years ago. Oh, there's an unlocked machine pistol. I can use the Uzi Nano. Oh wait, this is an infinite ammo scenario. Oh yeah, we're cooking now. Hopefully accuracy doesn't matter. Oh, that's by far the most sauce I've ever seen. Okay, well this is a good farm. Only have to do this like 50 times. I digress, it is a very cool sandbox game. Let's move on. Oh. Chili. So this game is called The Canadian Wilderness. It's very realistic. Practically feels like it's negative five degrees right now. Very immersive. Well, I better get to gathering some resources. Well, this is a good stone deposit. I've discovered some kind of ancient ruins. Well, the sun is going down. This seems like a nice spot to make a little home. Dig up some gravel. Apparently on a diagonal, just have to deal with that. Yeah, so this is block first, by the way, just a little AR Minecraft thing. Yeah, I definitely didn't just smack my hand into one of these rocks. That didn't hurt at all. I'm gonna try to not fall off this cliff to my right. That'd be top 10 embarrassing ways to die. Well, this has gotten pretty big. Let's lay down some nice hardwood floors. Well, that needs a bit of fixing. What do we want for walls? That's a nice marbly looking stone. Yeah, just trim off that outside and we're looking pretty good here. Hey, look at that. Ignore that block. That's gonna despawn or something. I don't know. Nice. Oh, crap. I'm scared every time I have to break blocks now because it sometimes chain reacts and like takes a bunch of them out. Well, would you look at that? Left a little window in the back. I should maybe mention it's generally not recommended to take your VR outside because if you let the sun get on the lenses, you can kind of fry your display. So not good, but you know, just don't point the lenses at the sun, lol. Yeah, it's probably tall enough. Got some nice vaulted ceilings, you know, and some shrubbery out front. Okay, I can't seem to place glass on glass. That's just impossible. It needs more support or something, I don't know. Well, we can let the breeze in. Certainly some interesting choices. Oh, we could have a, a colorful carpet, maybe. Or maybe we're gonna need some light in here. Oh, those get placed in a weird way. That was like an actual carpet thing? Oh, that's not what I was hoping for. Oh no. Bah, I was so careful. It destroyed my entire floor. That's what I was talking about. Like these aren't even blocks anymore. They're just like loose junk that's eventually gonna despawn, but is in the way for now. <laughs> 
What a disaster. How about some art to cheer me up? Oh, they're not random paintings. Oh, okay, <laughs> great, screw it. I, I just really like the Mona Lisa. Okay, it's fine, I wanted a purple carpet anyway. There's like an invisible block. Get out of the way, bruh, please. Okay, got that one. Yes, I got my hand like into the ground. Later. Yeah, if I touch a single wood block, they all just go crazy. All right, we're ripping it all out. We're redoing the floor. Eventually. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. Most of the junk is gone. Just cannot mess this up. Last one. We did it. We have a new floor and I'm never touching it again. Well, I can maybe add some support for the window. Yeah, but that kind of hampers the view if I do that on the right. Yeah, now we're leaving it open and it's bigger now. No, well, that's not what I was hoping for. Oh no. Okay, house is intact. We're closed in, and those torches are not helping with the light, huh? <laughs> yeah, these do not seem to do anything. Maybe I can make myself a seat to enjoy the view. Okay, it appears to be stuck on the orange wool thing, and my controller is as frozen as my hands. Yeah, I cannot change it. Okay, well, I, I definitely wanted an orange couch. Simpsons couch, here we go. Yes, how comfortable. Ah, <sighs> I can admire my hard work. Imagine a bear walks up on me when I'm doing this. And I can't see anything because a Minecraft house is overlaid on top of them. I'm making noise, so, you know, unlikely. But we do have local bears. I'll show you Charlie. He shows up now and then. He's very polite, though. Uh, well, I guess I really wanted an orange awning, too. I'm scared to, like, close and reload the game because I don't know how the saving works. Yes, what a beautiful awning. This was definitely my vision. Okay, I risked it. We reloaded. I can place other things now, like these beautiful trees. And dump a bunch of lava. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I'd say our house is pretty complete here. I just forgot the bombs. Ha ha! Oh, that's quite the bomb. But I ran out? It's like sandbox mode, come on. Die, die. Well, we've made quite the mess here, haven't we? So it's not like there's a ton of depth to this, and it is a bit janky. But even as a tech demo, that was shockingly fun. My hands are frozen, let's go. Welcome to Population One. I guess this could be called the Fortnite of VR. I've never played Fortnite, but this is a cartoonish battle royale with a building aspect too, so pretty fair comparison. And there are even skins. Yay, everyone loves those. Why does it look like I have this insane space titan thing? <laughs> so apparently this is for pre-ordering Asgard's Wrath 2, which I didn't do, but it came for free with the headset as like a launch title. Well, all right, apparently I have the most insane skin imaginable, the Cosmic Guardian. They're never getting money out of me now. Not like they were going to anyway, but you know. Ooh, you stick out your arms to glide. This is free to play on the Quest headset, by the way, but annoyingly not on Steam. I have to remember how to play this now. You can see the reloads are very simplified. You don't have to reach for a mag or anything. Jeez, it is Fortnite. Now, even being cartoony and having prompts, it still helps to know what you're doing. You wanna go fast. It's the beauty of VR, where everything you do is like part of the skill gap. You don't just press a reload button and watch. New generation of kids are gonna grow up and be insane at this. I don't think this gun existed when I tried this a couple months ago. And it seems kind of insane. And here's if I mimic a reload animation. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Here's the real strat. <laughs> now we're cooking. Man, I need a VR FPS MMO. I will live in it. Imagine being in a group of friends, your DPS is tied to how fast you can physically reload and toss out whatever abilities. That must be like the hardest thing to develop. A full-scale MMO amount of content, already the hardest thing, plus VR having a small audience. You are never making your money back, but it would be so cool. Enough delay, let's hop in the BR. McDonald's RP. I only played one before this when I first got the headset, uh, so I kind of forget how to play. I keep confusing the buttons with other games now, like I'm pinging when I'm trying to bring up the menu. I think I get two teammates. Here we are. Run to a deployment pod. So there are like a dozen people or so, and we can pull the drop. Uh, I don't know where my guys are. Here we go! I don't know if there's a ping from a teammate over there, or... Resources, yeah, I forget how to build, I'm gonna be honest. There we go, got a gun. Got shields, got bag upgrades, and a banana. Mmm, shield soda. That's like a purple version. So that's better. Ah, a shield shaker. I have to shake to charge. Nice. Teammate down. Oh no. Yeah, I thought I saw a blue pixel like way over there. He didn't drop with us. Is that like our teammate's ghost walking towards us? That's how you spectate? That seems OP. Hmm. Oh, he revived him? Ah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I forgot to mention the first game I played a long time ago went really well. Got plenty of kills, but I have to assume that's because like for your first however many games they flood your match with a bunch of bots Like that wasn't a person right and I'm down with that as an onboarding strategy to learn the ropes Of course long term bots would get lame fast. It kind of seems like maybe more human behavior You're taking shots from up there. It's like a supply drop. I kind of want that up. Oh behind us Got like an M60 <laughs> I'll Help my guy out That's not a person right? 
And our teammate went down. Well, I'm pretty darn upgraded. So he revived a ghost before, right? I remember the reviving in the tutorial. He's got to rub these defib pads together. Bam. All right, that's crazy. You can walk over to be revived. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, this might be a person. Ooh, all right. Yeah, he hit me with that snipe. And he was like peeking in and out. That could have been a real person. The guy's going off over there. Oh, we won. All right. <laughs> Don't feel like I had to work too hard for that. This was a real team though. Look at all this gold stuff. Surely play again. Why not? These guys are cool. Oh, I got to hit a default dance on him. The ultimate TM literally dancing. Oh, this lobby's going crazy with the building. And I still don't know how to do that. Maybe we moved up in skill. It is impressive that this runs completely fine. Just on the headset itself. All right. Oh, he's like dropping. I'll try to join him. Stick together. Okay. Tech nine. Rush B. Ah, that's better. Another one of these. Oh, wait. I should be shaking it like this. Because then you see guys, pro tip. And then you don't waste time bringing it up to your mouth after it's done. <laughs> I'm not cutting a camera for that one. Oh, wait. I just remembered. You can climb anything by just pulling yourself up. Yeah, it's kind of like a big part of the game. Then I can glide over there. Yeah, the roof is where all the good stuff is. My man was in a fight over here. I'll let him loot. He's probably full on those, it looks like. Hello. There is quite the battle going on here. Several teams. Definitely some real people somewhere in here. I'm gonna do some damage. Not really too afraid. Ooh, that's like the auto sniper in purple. I need that. Are you good? He's good. Yeah, I'll uh, drop the shakers. I'm not gonna use those in the middle of a fight. And I can take this ammo. And I can upgrade my rifle. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. You're next. My team is kind of destroying. I feel like I need to rush in there to do something. Yeah, okay. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Not that I'm good at all, but uh, I think I'm ready for some more challenge. Ready to graduate from the bot program. I'm just not scared enough. I need to be getting shot more. I could go check out that supply drop. Wow. I mean, my stuff's already pretty good. I'll take the gold upgrade though. Oh, my guy's going off. Another one. I feel like we're about to win. He just wiped the team. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, I kind of missed out on that. Yeah, it wasn't the most helpful. Neat. Back to back. Easy game. <laughs> I'm so bad though if I faced anyone who's actually competent. Oh, dailies, let's go. Oh man, and the battle pass. Or oh, that's just a level up thing. Another level? The AKM blaze. Oh my god. Oh, balloons. I was supposed to be shooting those balloons. Oh, here's the actual battle pass. Just giving me all this stuff. So you get stars from the event thing, and then you can spend the stars. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's maybe a bit too uh, edgy for me. Ah, uh, yes, the ear bone. Uh, sure. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Well, that is very fun. And I bet a blast to hop in with some friends. Although I guess my opinion might shift a bit if it flips the switch suddenly and puts me in gen pop with people building out of their minds. I don't know. Update. It gave me like three more games in the new player matchmaking where I got exponentially better. And of course, it's easier not recording and talking. I'm not fumbling with the menu buttons anymore. So I'm always popping sodas mid fight. Straight up carried everyone I matched with. Kind of funny, but also kind of boring. Then it did deservedly put me in with everybody else. The full lobby made that immediately obvious, but I can still compete. Not too crazy. Way harder to win though, obviously. The lack of teamwork hurts. It would be a lot more fun to party up. So the typical BR experience now, I guess. And I'm not exactly a huge BR lover, but the VR novelty part is still fun. Okay, back to whatever I was saying before. Well, if you're looking for an active live service style VR shooter, then you probably don't have many options. The VR player base is still relatively thin and there's the whole nausea concern, but this seems like a pretty darn polished one. Very cool. cool. I suppose I could talk about the headset if you don't follow new headsets and were curious. This is the recently released Quest 3. Look, I hate Facebook as much as the next guy, but the Quests have kind of been dominating for a while as far as value goes. The Quest 2 wasn't enough to make me want to jump in, but it's still solid for only being like 300 bucks. My list of things I was waiting for were good wireless, because I don't want to deal with running a cable, inside out tracking, because I ain't got that much space and base stations sound annoying, and a respectable field of view refresh rate resolution. This thing dropped with all of that, plus the great color pass through, very convenient to check your surroundings. Not like I actually want Want to wear it around the house, obviously, like the thing the Apple people who've never followed VR have been freaking out about, except you can buy like seven of these for the price of that thing and have much more freedom and, uh, you know, controllers. <laughs> they were the same price, I still prefer this. Anyway, it also had the fancy pancake lenses, not like the old ones that have lines in them, plus that nice new processor to play standalone games, even though I pretty much only use it for PC VR. All that for not a crazy thousand dollar price point, probably selling at a loss. Zuck is content to throw billions into building his metaverse empire or whatever, and I say go for it, Zuck. Thanks for the headset. 
I will say though, if you're content to wait a bit longer, I am very curious about whatever rumored thing Valve could have on the horizon. An index successor could be worth the wait. There, it should sound less like an ad now because it isn't. Yes, wait and see what Valve does. Gaben based Zuck Evil. I guess for downsides, you do need accessories to complement it so the price can add up. Just don't get the first party stuff, total scam. But you do want a better strap with the battery, maybe some covers to keep it clean, maybe prescription lenses if you need them, maybe a decent mic because the built-in one sucks, and so on. All right, let's play another game. Time moves when you move. That is the gimmick of Super Hot, if you were not familiar. Super Hot. Bop. Bop. Makes for some awesome bullet time stuff. Very satisfying. Won't have too much to say about this other than I loved it as like a first experience when I was setting everything up. The demo for this is free on the Quest Store. I like this part, I developed some fun strats. Boom. Get them. You toss the gun up there, teleport catch it boom boom you're supposed to be punching these guys but you don't have to boom bottle attack bam aha he's going for it get bottled that should be a good shot Super. nice so that would be the end of the demo just that opening sequence and the game itself is really not that long just very satisfying let you introduce some more weapon types these are kind of harder to use because you can, like, can't stop them from firing multiple times. And then time speeds up while you do that. Calculator. It's kind of OP that you can just take full cover in VR. I do remember this game being a thing ages ago. But it's like hard to believe this was made as a flat screen game. This feels completely conceived for VR. It's like a perfect concept. Whenever you have something not breakable in your hand, it's also very easy to deflect stuff. Ting. Ting. Get bald, idiot. I've made some people play this, and it's funny how the instinct, when something's coming at you, is like, dodge quickly. But you could always just stop and wait. Come on. There we go. <laughs> when you remember that there's no pressure, it becomes pretty easy. And now the shotgun. Easily the most OP. The levels do get a bit harder, of course, but never anything too crazy. I think you can slice the bullets as well. Shing! <laughs> You're shooting the ground now. All right, enough out of you. Oh, I really screwed that up. <laughs> can always chop. The shotgun guys can be scary, though. Yeah, this, you just have to dodge. I don't have a lot of space to be doing this. Uh-oh. Yeah, whenever you grab something, there's like a quarter second of full speed. But now you get to zoom through all of this. Much faster. Boom, boom, boom. It'd be crazy to speedrun this. Yeah, we're gonna dodge that wave, then grab. And no, don't shoot yet, because it's gonna speed up time. There we go. And you lied. I remember this. You got nothing. You just gotta dodge the shotguns. And then, you get your revenge. <laughs> and every advancement, you're kind of like in the same area. So like, watching speedruns be crazy. Like, that, that gun that I threw. You could pre-throw at all these spawns. I'm basically just replaying the entire game at this point. Maybe I should be stopping. Hi, how are ya? Not a long game, but a fun introduction to VR. Now, for something completely different. Hello, sir. Just adjust our mirror here. Off we go. For a nice, chill, scenic drive of the Scottish Highlands here. So I'm not even a, a car guy, but I've long wanted to try out a racing setup just seemed like the perfect extension of the VR. Like, damn, I'm in this car. That's crazy. It's a good thing for that racing line, because without it, I'm not braking soon enough. You can't feel the speed, of course. I was going, what, 180? No way. Yeah, aside from loving growing up with a bunch of Hot Wheels games and being a professional Mario Kart Wii player, Flame Runner Funky Kong, really not into racing or anything. Not much of a racist. But this is just so cool. It is. Have I said that enough? Oh, got some air. Scotland welcomes you. Thank you, Scotland. Yes, it's very easy to do what the line says. When I first set this up, I didn't have that on, and, uh, you know, it wasn't quite this smooth. Take this one a bit more aggressively. We're fine. Okay, that's a, that's a bit much. Back into town already. Oh, uh, that's a sharp one, okay. Yeah, it's a shame that there, there don't seem to be tons of fun, more arcadey racing games that can 
take advantage of this kind of setup. Like the focus is always on simulators and I'm really not training to be a driver or anything, evidently. I don't know. Give me some VR Hot Wheels. I think uh, BeamNG supports VR, that like crash simulator thing. Could be funny, but still not much to do. All right, lap two, no brakes allowed. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you could feel the force in that. We're fine, we're fine. Cut detected, lap will not count. Oh, that's not very nice. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so this is of course a, a force feedback wheel. You, you can really feel that. It's fighting you. Well, we finished the lap that doesn't count. How about something else? All right, we're in the Lambo now. <laughs> I am noticing a uh, slight difference in acceleration here. Oh yeah, that's some rough vibrations. I'm fighting to just keep it here. Obtained at 300 kilometers per hour. We're out here earning achievements. Oh boy, oh, we're dead, we're dead, goodbye. Cut detected. <laughs> hey, we're alive. Now if this were BMNG, uh, we would probably not be a lot. Never even worried. I'm a great driver. <laughs> Anyone who actually knows how to drive. Just cringing their pants off. It's lap two, no braking allowed. And we just ran out of banked corners. <laughs> well, we'll just ride the side, it's fine. That's our brake. It's fine, it's fine. We're just doing some off-roading here. We're, we're snaking, getting a bunch of mini turbos. See, no problem at all. Now we're in the R8 V10. I figured I'd just try this to show you without stabilization. So you can see the increased FOV, it is nice. But I figured this is the kind of game you want stabilized. There's nothing like a foreground gun I need to worry about being completely cropped out. And the head shake can look a little bad. But I could be wrong, open to opinions. Very obvious case for stabilizing is like Beat Saber. Kind of looks terrible if you're shaking all around. Finally, a place to go fast. And it's over. I'm actually not feeling sick at all but I'm guessing I wouldn't be able to go for hours. And I guess that's a reason there aren't tons of VR racing games. Anything like this or like the roller coasters, obviously you feel none of the motion and that is a little whack. Some people feel it much worse than others. Well, this is pretty sick. Out of all the VR stuff though, I'll probably not get a ton of use out of this when there are no games I think are really fun. So probably a bit of a silly purchase, but it was fun to get family to try it. And I basically never buy anything, I'm cheap as hell, so it's okay. Oh man, the accelerator's stuck. Say goodbye, kids. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why I'm even including Fruit Ninja. <laughs> I just saw it and was like, ooh, Neuron Activation, a 2010 classic. There's also an, an archery component to it. Okay, there's like a, a mini game that launches melons here. That is not easy. <laughs> man. Nice. Nice! No! I'll take three. It's seeming like it might take a while to get to the hard levels. Here we go, shoot some stuff. Oh, they're still floating though. Oh, I have to. Gotta do low power. Ah, fancy bow upgrade. Here we go, now they're flying. Now this is a true test. I think I figured out the pattern, guys. It alternates. Surely it'll get hard eventually. And they're forcing me to play 15 levels to unlock the blades. I thought I saw something. Golden apple. Precision challenge. All right, we're getting there. All right, blades unlocked. It is pretty fun. Oh, I can spend my star fruit. Oh, let's get the energy sword. Here you go. Grab this. Epic. What the heck? <laughs> this is the blades mode? Fruit beat saber? And you're gonna see unstabilized Beat Saber footage. Oh no. Hot streak. Huge streak. Epic streak. Extreme streak. Oh, uh, hello there. Uh huh. Those are easy to find. These ones aren't hidden at all. I don't even know what this does for me, but I'm finding them. Is that it? That's in a different area. Man, 82 bullseyes in 30 seconds. I'm just that good at archery. Okay, so I think I found the, the classic place. The, the, the thing I expected to be playing. There we go. They're, they're throwing fruit and I'm slicing it. <laughs> Gotta kind of wait to line up the combo. Which is tougher here than on a screen. I also kind of have to resist using both swords. It's so tempting to just go crazy. 
for me, impossible. Really cool. Well, only scratched the surface, but that's a good handful of games. It's a shame that the thing that makes it such a cool experience doesn't exactly translate into video. So I have ideas, but not any hard plans for more VR stuff. If there's something you think I should do or try, I might be down. I mainly just wanted to share this experience after so many years of mentioning it in passing in Q&As. It was really cool. I suppose most of the games are still more of a novelty, like an awesome first time experience, more than something I want to play every day, but if you have the means, it's totally worth checking out. Like if you're an all gaming is boring these days kind of guy, well this is something totally different, and I can't wait to see where this technology goes. So much potential. Thanks for watching, bye bye.